This is Asus ZenBook Pro, a perfect notebook for video and photo editing. Let's check out why. Before we start the review, make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable a notification so you won't miss any tech reviews. Thank you. Everyone is talking about the new ScreenPad and if it's a useless feature or not. But hey, what is it? Well, ScreenPad is Asus' answer to the Apple MacBook Touch Bar feature, but in a different approach. Basically, it is a screen behind the touchpad with two different type of features. One is allows you to run specific uh, programs to give specific control function for the user, like music player, calendar, or calculator. On the other hand, you can use it as an external display, and this is what can be a great option for graphic designers or video editors. It gives you the option to to drag different applications or menu bars from your programs and you have two displays in one single notebook. Pretty nice feature. Port selection is also nice. Two USB 3.1 Type-C with Thunderbolt support, two USB 3.1 Type-A, one HDMI, one combo audio jack and one micro SD card slot. Sadly, no full-sized SD card, but oh well, at least we got a lot more ports than other notebooks nowadays. The display is simply awesome. This review model is a 4K variant uh, with touchscreen support. The display is also Pantone validated, so as I mentioned earlier, for a graphic designer or anyone who needs a color accurate display, this machine is perfect. Asus ZenBook Pro can be configured with three different types of 8th gen Intel Core CPUs from i5 up to i9, uh, which sounds overkill and well, it is. The dedicated GPU is a full-sized NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with 4GB of VRAM, plenty enough for 3D work or for light gaming. Doom and Far Cry 5 uh, ran uh, battery smooth both graphics set to Ultra. Far Cry 5 was solidly running at uh, 40 to 60 FPS range, where Doom was handled like a champ. Of course, this is not a gaming machine and not necessarily built for these types of tasks, but you can see uh, what options it can offer. Battery life is okay, not an ultrabook like uh, 10 hours option. At max we can achieve around uh, 5 hours of battery life, which is good enough at this performance. Opening up the notebook we can see the huge battery and other components. Sadly the memory is soldered onto the motherboard and you can only upgrade the storage and the Wi-Fi card later. So before you order one, keep in mind to get one with plenty of memory. If you don't want the screen bar, uh, Asus provides a similar option with the UX550 uh, series. Similar same internals, except the Pantone validated display and uh, the lack of uh, Core i9. Other than that, the port wise and the GPU is quite the same. Thermals are okay, but as you can see, the i9 variant uh, might be an overkill for this size of notebook. Anyway, in the real world usage, you will not notice any drawback. As always, if you have any questions regarding this product, then ask it in the comment section below and we'll try to answer all of them. And if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day.